What's up guys? So you want to know the truth about your customs durability and I am here to answer your questions. I'm also here to show you how you can make your custom as strong as possible. So to start off, let's talk about one of the most important subjects, preparing your surface. This is hands down one of the most important steps to a strong custom and most of the cracking, peeling, and short-lived custom work is because this step is either neglected or not done properly. So here's how it should go. Your custom should always be prepped before painting unless you're working on a softer material such as canvas or mesh. To do this, I would recommend using the Angelus Leather Prepare Indie Glazer as it is gentle on your surface and has less of an odor than some other acetone products such as nail polish remover. When applying this to your surface, take your time and make sure all areas have thoroughly been wiped over. Removing the previous finish off the shoe is important when wanting the paint to stick properly and have the best bond possible. Some leathers will have a residue or flakiness when wiping the finish off. This just means that you're properly removing the finish and allowing for a clean base. Once you're done, the leather should feel less waxy and a little more raw. This step is optional, but a cool and recommended hack to a longer lasting custom. Using Angelus Leather Dye is a great primer before laying down your paint. This will ensure that even if some cracking happens, you'll have a backup layer that's also permanent. Angelus Leather Dyes will not crack, peel, or wipe away, so it'd be a great undercoat to any custom. Now, moving on to painting. One of the biggest mistakes people make is not adding enough coats. I know the custom looks pretty good after two or three layers, but the custom won't hold well with such a thin amount of paint. To ensure longer durability, add a minimum of five to six coats. Another thing to keep in mind is extra products added to your paint. Things like Dolor will affect the durability of your customs if not added properly. Adding too much of this will give you a weak, chalky finish that will easily crack off. Make sure you add a small amount to keep the paint strong. Now, some other products such as Too Hard and Too Soft will help have an even stronger bond to your plastic or mesh surfaces, so make sure you add them to your custom job accordingly. Last but not least, your custom should be topped off with the finisher. This will really be the last offense and will literally create a seal to hold the paint in. Apply multiple coats of this as your last step. Adding some Angelus water and stain repellent spray would be a good way to keep the custom job away from the elements. So the truth about your custom durability is that the shoe will last if you prep and paint properly. Keep in mind that all customs should be handled with care and any scratching and picking at the paint may damage it as it would damage any other shoe. Take your time with your customs and you'll get a great result. Leave any questions below and thanks so much for watching.